If a grateful COVID patient returned to the hospital to thank the doctors who saved her life. COVID symptoms sent the St. Louis area woman to the ER, but doctors discovered it was a malfunctioning heart that was actually threatening her life. Russell Kinsall documents her recovery six months later. Hi, good to see you. So much better. An emotional reunion and thank you for Carrie Browns and her family and the doctors and nurses at St. Luke's Hospital who saved her life. Her ordeal was six months ago. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm getting COVID. Her husband, Tim, caught COVID, but she thought she was taking all the right precautions. They rushed her to a hospital ER when her symptoms got bad, but were initially told no hospitals in St. Louis had an ICU bed at the time. So they were going to transfer me probably a couple hours away to a smaller rural hospital that did have an ICU bed. Her husband, Tim, asked them to double check and an ICU room was found at St. Luke's Hospital where her condition quickly went downhill. It was real bad. Her oxygen was in the 70s. Very much concerned of brain damage at that time. Doctors discovered Carrie had a malfunctioning heart valve that allowed blood to flow backwards and not enough blood and oxygen were getting to her organs. Reduced her, uh, her pumping function of her heart uh, so badly that she went into respiratory failure. Doctors inserted a device in her heart called the Impella 5, the world's smallest heart pump. She was too sick for open heart surgery. This little pump here uh, spins at like 30,000 RPMs and it can pump uh, five liters per minute. Carrie began to improve and within days had surgery to repair her heart valve. Tim was by her side advocating for her every day. He gives the credit to the medical team. The culture that they have instilled at St. Luke's is second to none. The nurses, the staff, and the doctors and surgeons, they work as one cohesive team. Six months after being discharged from the hospital, she's back to express her gratitude. I felt like they took care of me like I was one of their own family members, and they didn't even know me. Um, so I'd like to say thank you. Russell Kinsall, News 4. How well she's doing just six months later tells a lot about the care that she got while she was at St. Luke's. And I love the picture of the flex in the yes. hospital bed. Good stuff. Well, still ahead on News.